Welcome, welcome to welcome to the show. And in my attempt to quickly animate the reality in which we find ourselves in this search for hidden truth, in my most valiant attempt to exp- explain away where we are. Here, you have to reimagine these things. First of all, reimagine the moon as being the sun. And this is a top view. And looking straight down, there are four luminaries. And I'm trying to explain away three of the four. So, the sun in its analemma going higher up in the sky, if you can imagine that for a second. I know it's not to the right proportion. The earth should be larger in, the, in representing the whole circle, I suppose. But this is my first attempt in five minutes with a five minute inspiration and five minutes of research and five minutes of editing. This is what I came up with initially. And so let's go through this again. Looking from the top, the sun in its analemma, getting closer and further away. And in doing so, it will pull the extended luminary that resides in the circumference of this place. It will pull it to the surface at the North Pole. So, in, t- in two ways, they are telling us two things. There is a sun at the North Pole that gets pulled to the surface, which causes the ice to melt. But also, I suppose the reverse is true as well. There is a sun that is buried underneath the Earth. But the four luminaries are as follows. The sun and the moon follow the same trajectory. That's why I'm saying, just imagine the outer moon to be the sun because they follow the same trajectory around. You see? The earth in the middle, it's it's not the right size. But the analemma that you see happening there with the stop motion animation, click, click, dot, dot, it should be in 3D. So if we were to see this from a third angle like sort of from the side you would see the luminary going up in the sky okay so at the same time these things are both happening do you see what i'm saying the sun going further up higher in the sky i suppose as it reaches the same level as the moon, would cause some sort of lunar eclipse because it would be higher up in the sky and lower in the sky depending on the time of year. So I don't think they take a lot of that into account when accounting for their model of the earth. And going back to the 12th century, Paracelsus saying that there are four luminaries And this is just part of me reiterating the alchemical story in the search for hidden truth. This ranks right up there with the best of them. That the sun is in its analemma. And because the analemma is not perfectly symmetrical, it does prove the 
flat earth theory is true. Also, the flat earth theory does not take into account the four luminaries of the 12th century Paracelsus philosophy. So that's where I come in. And I am not that great storyteller. I am merely the flint that caused the spark that set the world on fire. As I've always said from the beginning, I am but the flint. I am not even the spark that set the flame that lit the f world on fire. All right, so I'm not sure if that's perfectly clear. There are four luminaries. Two of them follow in the red dot that's going around, the, f the sun and the moon. Though the sun will rise up higher in the sky and the moon will stay within it, the firmament. Okay, and all four luminaries, I don't know if you want to say they're of hallucinogen effect, but they are a product and the <laughs> to do with the well-being of this place. You follow? So they've been here longer than we have. But to explain away that the sun, because of the analemma, is pulling the luminary at the North Pole to the surface, boiling the water, it's pretty hard to explain, especially if you think you're on a planet. So, what I, I, I was trying to do in the beginning was to reiterate the alchemical way the model of Paracelsus of the four luminaries and trying to explain away quickly just with my abilities to edit and you can see the per <laughs> it's not perfect in any way it's quickly pieced together so you may understand if you're looking at this from the side view from a 3D point of view you would see the sun rise up into the sky at the same time as going around. So that is the trick in it, I suppose. That it would take on more of a spiral effect if you were to take it up and back and up and back. So, I guess the four luminaries is the biggest thing I learned from the... Uh, waters of the Euphrates book and I'm going to be trying to emphasize its meaning its value its teachings and try and bring them to light in a new age and bring it to light for the new people to see the truth in this realm we live